Hello, in this video, we are going to see how we can get free eaters. So these free eaters are used only inside test networks. So they are worthless, so you cannot buy with them or do anything with them. Here you can see that there is two types of networks. The main network where there is the real Ethereum and there is also the test networks where there is the worthless and the fake ethers. We can use these test networks to deploy our application and test before deploying it to the main network. Okay? There are many networks. For example, there is the Gorli network, the Kovan, Rinkeby, Robsten networks, and we can test our application in one of these networks without spending the real ethers. Okay? So how we can get free eaters to test our application. There is what called faucet websites. You have only to send them your address and they will send you ethers. Okay. With one wallet, we can make transaction in different networks. So we don't have to create many wallets to switch between the different networks. So we can have one wallet and this wallet is valid in all networks the main network and the test network but you have to know one thing is that the balance are not cross networks that mean if you have one ether in the main network you cannot use it inside test networks and if you have thousand ethers inside the test network you cannot use it inside the main network and the same thing between Test networks. If you have one ether in Kovan, you cannot use it in Renkeby and vice versa. Okay, so with that in mind, let's switch to VS Code and start coding. So first, let's create two wallets and let's use Keystore to create encrypted wallet. So Keystore.new Keystore. First argument, we have to provide the output directory. So so slash wallet and the other arguments are related to encryption so we are going to use the default ones standard script n and keystore standard script p okay so this function new keystore return a keystore and now as we saw in the previous video we have to use a keystore that new account and pass a password. Okay, so this function returns to us an address and an error. Let's handle the error and let's copy and pass to create a second wallet. So let's run our script. Okay, so you can see that here we have two wallets. So with address one and address two. I am going to copy this address. So copy it here. The same thing for this one. Let's comment this code to not create each time a new wallet when we run our script. And now let's create an ether client. And to do that we use eth client dot dial Okay, so as first argument, it takes a URL. So I am going to create a URL. So let's quickly switch to Infura and get our URL. Okay, so here I already set up a project. So if you don't have project, you can click on create new project, give a name and click on create. Okay, I have project. Let's go inside the setting panel. And here, let's choose Kovan Network. So we want to interact with Kovan Network. Okay, so you can choose Robsten, Rinkeby, or Gorli. So I am going to use Kovan. Then copy the URL. Paste it here. Okay. So this function return a client and an error. So let's handle them. Let's try to get the balance of these two wallets. To do that, we have to use the client. 
dot balance at okay so this function we have to pass as first argument the context and the second argument is the address of the wallet as you know we cannot use the hexa string as it is we need to convert it to an address and to do that we have to use the common subpackage dot hex to address okay so i am going to copy this address and paste it here so it returns an address a1 copy paste a2 copy the hexa of address number two and paste it here okay so now we have the two address let's pass the address one here and as third argument this balance at takes the block number but we can set it to nil and get the last balance of this wallet okay so we don't have to pass the block number okay so this balance at return the balance and an error so b1 error is equal let's handle the error and let's do the same thing for the address number two perfect now let's print the two balance okay so let's run the script and see okay so here we got an error missing address okay so i forget to pass the url here i save and let's run again okay so here we got zero for the both wallets so we don't have any ethers in the Kovan network okay now let's try to send ethers to the first wallet so this one i am going to copy it past here okay so this Kovan faucet just sent us some ethers so let's check inside vs code and let's rerun our script okay so as you can see we just received two ethers from the covan faucet okay so these ethers are only available inside covan network let's test and get the balance of this wallet from the main network perspective so here let's switch to main network and copy this url paste it here main url and let's switch to the main url okay let's rerun our script as you can see in the main network this wallet has zero ether but in the covan test networks we have two ethers that means the balance are not cross networks and each network has a balance of a defined wallet so the covan network is only for testing these two ethers are worthless and you cannot do with them anything only testing so the real money is inside the main network so this is all for this video i hope you learned something thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye